I've heard how Disney loves to try and silence things that they don't want anyone to know about, and after reading this about the synopsis, I can't say I blame them entirely for their decision. I only hope this page stays up. Mickey's Best Friend is a controversial 10-minute cartoon that was shown in theaters on November 15, 1929. It was later banned, and isn't allowed to be shown again due to its history of kids requiring constant attention after viewing its content. The cartoon was animated by Ugly Works, with music composed by Carl Stalling. It isn't even available to anyone who wants to complete their collection of classic Mick cartoons. It was originally intended to be a Halloween-related short, which revolved around Mick and Eustace, an anthropomorphic dog character. Walt at the time thought kids were getting dumbed down by other shorts, and that they were mature enough to handle what he wanted to show them. Mick is driving to his workplace in his car. Along the way, it breaks down due to an engine problem, and he gets out to check it. When Mick finds out it's beyond repair, he goes into a depression until Eustace arrives, and helps out by fixing the problem. Mick is relieved, and introduces himself. After getting Eustace's name, Mick invites him to go with him somewhere. Eustace asks Mick if he was supposed to be somewhere, but Mick lies to him and decides to skip work. The two arrive in a cafe where the owner spots Mick and gives him a stern look. He walks up and Rude asks Mick what he wants. After ordering, the sheriff, Pete, enters and confronts Mick, demanding that he final pays off his late rent. Mick on the verge of breakdown is pitied by Eustace, who decides to pay off Mick's entire debt. The sheriff laughs and warns Eustace telling him that Mick will only cause him trouble before leaving the scene. Mick, relieved that he's off the hook, hugs Eustace in joy. Mick leaves the calf with Eustace and begins to introduce his new friend to the local residents through a bunch of different scenes. They don't care and walk off. The last resident they speak to begins to chuckle a bit, and warns Eustace that he should be careful around that mouse. Eustace tries to get an explanation on why this person holds a grudge, but the resident is nowhere to be seen after his warning. Eustace asks Mick why he's smiling after the reception he got, and Mick admits to Eustace that he hasn't had friends before, and that Eustace is his first pal. Eustace feels bad, and seems to be hiding something with a guilty expression. Mick and Eustace in a bunch of quick scenes stop by a theater, play a game, and go atop a mountain viewing the scene. Afterwards, Mick shows Eustace his home in hopes that he'll live with him. It's here where Eustace feels bad for the mouse, but Final admits that he has to leave. Mick is in shock, and assumes that it's a betrayal like all of the other relationships he's had. Eustace tells Mick that he isn't pleased by the town, and especially the residents, and is going to search elsewhere. He apologizes to Mick, and gives a few encouraging words before final heading out the door. Mick rushes, and grabs Eustace by the leg, and pleads to stay, but Eustace shakes his head. Mick decides that he can't lose his own friend, and knocks him out with a rock that was found on the ground. The next scene shows Mick walking down the stairs to his basement. He turns on the lights, where Eustace is tied onto an operating table. Eustace is still unconscious. Mick begins to sob and act apologetic. He talks to Eustace through his state, telling him that it has to be this way. He constantly shouts out that he can't be alone anymore, and Final gets a knife from under the operating table and begins to work on him from off screen. After Eustace Final awakens, it is revealed that he is no longer anthropomorphic, but a real dog. He begins to freak out, and can only make barks. During the freakout, it switches to first-person mode, and we see Mick entering the room. Eustace no longer seems scared the moment he sets his sight on Mick. Through the mouse, he feels like he needs Mick, and final pounces, and licks him. Mick tells Eustace that no dog will ever know about this, and how it will be their eternal secret. He tells Eustace that he will be known as Pluto until they part. The scene switches to Mickey's home, and zooms out. The sheriff's laughter is heard along with the resident, who had warned Eustace about Mick in the first place. Background Walt Disney was inspired to make a Halloween-themed short of a beloved mouse. Characters were created, and made up on the spot, which would later become official characters. 
The owner of a calf would later become Daisy Duck, and the resident attempting to warn Eustace would later become Goof, who supposed looked a lot like Eustace's design. Pluto would also become a recurring character, but in connection to Eustace isn't mentioned. Iwerks felt disgusted during the final portion of the cartoon, and demanded that the operation scene would get censored. Walt had no choice but to give in to their demands. Production production of the cartoon was delayed due to many of the workers, and Iwerks feeling unease for Eustace after reading the script. Production was very slow due to the employees not wanting to real finish this cartoon. There was also undisclosed budget, which could be due to the animators demanding a higher pay for making something out of their comfort zone, especially for kids' cartoon. It took a few months to finish production. Reception A lot of outrage and controversy stirred after the cartoon final got released to theaters. It was the opposite of what Walt wanted. People claimed that their children couldn't sleep at night and would get nightmares involving getting operated on by Mick. It would even cause children, who were very young, to require constant attention, because they didn't want to be alone, especially at night. Due to this, parents wanted to press charges over the content. Walt finally decided to destroy and copy the cartoon he could come across in an attempt to hide his failures. Theories few have pointed out how Eustace looks similar to Goof. Some have said that Eustace's features would later on be given to the more clumsy Goof. After multiple viewings, some have talked about the anthropomorphic characters being considered normal perfect beings, while the furls are considered mental disabled, and are kept as pets that are most restrained due to how dangerous they can be. While there are no connections to Eustace in future cartoons, Mick gets extremely worried when Pluto runs off, or gets lost, and will even try and risk his life in order to save his best friend. This is the only connection from Mickey's best friend that is shown in other cartoons. Sources there used to a particular site that showed screenshots of a short Mickey's best friend, but it is no longer accessible, the site can no longer be found, and seems to have vanished. Most of the writers for this short are now deceased most due to old age. Back when they were around, they didn't want any mention of this cartoon. Some have said that this is due to guilt.